Today in the Brick Lab, we're going to be taking a look at shrinking down Captain America's two-wheeled tank. My favorite scene in Endgame was definitely when Cap Spoiler alert. roared onto the battlefield in his sick bike and just started torching the Outriders left and right with his massive flamethrowers. It's a super violent scene, and honestly, I'm kind of surprised that LEGO turned that into a set, but I'm really impressed with their commitment to accuracy, so thumbs up to them, I guess. So this bike is actually pretty cool. It is a bit oversized, though, even though it does have that dirt bike-esque profile from the- Um, the only problem is is that it's super massive, and it just swallows Cap whole. It's more big fig scale than anything else, to be completely honest. In my opinion, the best fix would just be to remove Cap from this bike entirely, and just put him on this mini fig scale bike, which comes from some of the Age of Ultron sets. It even has a clip for a shield, and it looks just so much better. But fear not, because I was able to shrink this build down, and using only parts in the set, including some of the extras, make a build that's a whole lot more manageable and a whole lot more minifigure scale. If you want to see that one, let's go ahead and take a look. My version is still a little oversized unfortunately, but on the plus side it is not nearly as big, and it can also fit inside the Avengers garage. If you want to see my video for fixing up the Avengers compound, feel free to click the link in the notes. Um, so basically the major changes I made were that I swapped the bike's frame around back to front, this used to be the front, this used to be the back, and I just reversed them. And I also got rid of the disc launchers, and then from there I just went ahead and rebuilt the bike. And the good news is, is that it only used parts from the set. Um, in fact, if I was going to use parts that weren't from the set, the only two I would use would be two inverted slope bricks, and I would replace the silver cones with them, just because I feel like the, the inverted slope bricks might do a better job of tying the, tying the parts of the build together. And as you can see, this is what it looks like with, this is what it looks like without. Not a huge change, but... Still, this, I feel, is just a little bit smoother and a little bit nicer, but it's no big deal, and whichever, it's up to you. So the build for this bike isn't too difficult, and in fact, the frame starts out pretty much the same as the frame for the original bike. And just a heads up, these are two 1x2 plates, and you will need the two extra Technic half pins right here. In fact, if you are going to add parts that aren't from the set, I would recommend two, um, two actual Technic pins, the light bluish gray ones, I believe, uh, because that will just help the wheels stay together that much better. And there you go, it actually rolls pretty nicely. And then from there, we are simply going to add in this assembly. And it's pretty much the same as it was on the other bike. It's just going to be this assembly from that one, plus this plate and this little bar. Now, the reason this is here is because it helps the shield stay in place that much better. You can still fit the shield in nicely, and it's not going to fall out on you. Um, and anyway, we can just plug that in, and this is a red 2x2 plate in the bottom there. And we plug that in, and there we go. The base of the cycle is complete. Now these pins are the ones you're going to attach the exhaust pipes to, and these are the ones you're going to attach the flamethrowers to. And if you want to rotate to the back real quick, we can actually just put the kickstand piece back in. And as you can see, that still works pretty well. Alright, so the last thing we need to make is the front of the bike, and we're going to make that using this assembly here. And then we are going to add in one of these angled plates, and we're going to attach one of these angled tiles, and then one of these weird studless slopes. And then from there, we're going to just attach on this assembly, which is exactly the same as the as it is on Captain America's bike, if I'm remembering correctly. So then we're just going to plug that in, and put this little shield piece on the outside there, and we're all set. Now we just need to make one for the other side, and we're good to go. So to do the one for the other side, we're just going to use that angle plate again, along with the... Um, along with the corner tile and that weird slope. And then we're simply going to make the other assembly and plug it in place. And from here, what we can do, because this thing is a little flimsy and it's best to give that as much support as possible, and from here we can just plug that onto the bike. And the reason we put these two 1x2 tiles, or these 1x1 one one tiles in the bottom, is that they'll cover up the gap between the bike and the frame. And that looks good to me. So let's finish up the rest. And for that, we are going to need this piece, which is cap seat. And we're going to put it with the studs facing forward. And then we're going to attach this assembly, which is the headlight assembly from Cap's bike. And that stays exactly the same. We're going to put it on. And the only difference now is that the headlight has to point directly up, because if it goes down a little bit, it's going to rub against the wheel and cause some friction. And at this point, you're probably wondering, wait a second, what does Cap sit on? And the answer to that is, he actually doesn't. Pretty much, he stays in place by gripping the handlebars. And that actually does work pretty well. There's enough of a... And that actually works pretty well. I haven't had any issues with it so far. And if you want, you could even do some more dynamic poses with him, like, you know, driving at a super reckless high-speed pace. And uh, before I forget, we should probably put on the finishing details, like the flamethrowers, which just plug into the Technic pins, and the exhaust pipes, which I still feel like are a bit unnecessary, but they do look pretty cool, so, you know, I'm not gonna mess with them. And with that, your modified Caps bike is 
done. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And if you want to see more of my content, please feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. And if you want more of my nonsense, please feel free to check out my social media profiles, links in the description below. Anyway, that about does it for today, so I will see you guys next time.